Hi guys, Four Season Bros here and in today's video I'll be showing you guys how to remove and replace a stud on your snowmobile track. So let's get started. First, you'll need a half inch socket to remove your stud. So we'll start by doing that. So, you've got your socket, you'll also need a 5 30 second allen key to hold your your stud in place under the track so you'll hold it like this with the allen key under and your socket on top might be tight because there was a uh, loctite on it before so do that till it comes off So there we go, we've got the nut off and then you'll want to take off the stud, in your case if it's broken or twisted. It might be pretty tight in there so keep your allen key in there and try to turn it around so it comes off just like that and then just keep playing with it so it'll come off eventually. There you go. And then you should be able to take your stud out. In our case, the stud is still good. It's just, it's just an example to show you guys how to remove your stud and put one back on. So, as you can see, that's where you hold it with your allen key. It's the same thing, but now we're just putting it back on. So you take your stud, put it through the hole, put this plastic or this rubber on, and then you'll put your nut right back on top. Pretty simple. So you put your stud, put that back on. Some of you guys, these caps will just slide in, but this one is the threads or some threads are in there so having a bit of trouble so I'll just twist it back in no big deal just like that so once that's done you don't want to put your nut back on but you're gonna want to make sure to put some uh, Loctite on because you don't want a stud flying off in your uh, in your snowmobile so just make sure to put a bit of Loctite on your nut and on the bottom right there so just to make sure just a bit don't need much then you'll take your socket and your allen key again your allen key on the bottom right there make sure you're in and then we'll change this so it'll be tightening then you're gonna have to do this and after that you're pretty much done you do the same process for every stud that you want to replace or remove on your sled So make sure you put this tight, not not too tight, because you don't want it to break either. I'm gonna check. Just make sure it's tight. That should be good. So there you go, guys. After that, you can wipe down your socket, clean up everything, and there you go. 
So that's how you install or remove a stud on your snowmobile track. So it was a pretty easy process, but hopefully you guys learned something from this. And you guys will now know how to change your studs on your snowmobile track. So thanks for watching guys. Please like and subscribe. Thanks.